Good morning or afternoon, evening, whatever time of day you're watching this. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie. I am a NASM certified personal trainer and performance enhancement specialist. And I am also currently taking my corrective exercise specialization course. So I'm excited about that. I am also a, what else am I? I'm a body neutral personal trainer and an elite level power lifter. And I am about 15, 16 weeks out from my next meet. So I'm still enjoying my off season, doing a lot of hypertrophy. My Long Island really came out there on off season. <laughs> I am in week three of rerunning the same off season program that I ran a couple of months ago. And it's really cool to see like the comparison of like where I was in week three last time versus where I am in week three now. I am definitely already at heavier weights than I was last time I ran this program. So it's really cool to see. I am headed to the gym a little bit late today. I'm having a late breakfast. It's 1230. Whew. Tuesdays are technically my day off. I still work probably more on Tuesdays than I do any other day of the week, but I don't have any client calls on Tuesdays. So I slept in today, which was very much needed and I'm headed in for a squat day. That's about it. Here we go. Okay, it's time for my AMRAP. So like two weeks ago, I took 260 and I got it for 10. And then last week I did 275 and I got it for 12. So today I have 265. If I can get it for at least 12, that would be amazing. So that's kind of like the bare minimum that I want. Here we go. Yeah, that's all I have to say. <sighs> um, I am taking out my overhead press again today since my elbow is feeling better with the changes that I made last week. I'm gonna do the same stuff that I did last week, not do my overhead press, not do my skull crushers, all that jazz. So just leg accessories today. I'm gonna catch my breath and we'll get to it. <laughs>
honey. Good morning. It's training day two today. I'm tired. I am sleepy today. I feel like I'm always sleepy on training day two. I think this is a pattern. Training day two normally falls on Wednesdays and Tuesdays are supposed to be my day off. But any of my fellow entrepreneurs know that you end up working more on your days off than any other day of the week. So maybe I should reassess that. Anyway. I have to bench today. My elbow feels not cured, but the best it has. So I have high hopes. Here we go. AMRAP. The last time that I took a paused AMRAP at 135, I got 14. The time before that, I got 12. If I can match 14, I'll be really, really happy. So I'm going to wait probably like six minutes and then I'll do my AMRAP. What? 16? Huh. I think next time that means I have to get 18. Keep the pattern going. Damn. Uh, now I have accessories. I'm gonna try my incline bench. I'm gonna try it. I'm probably, I'm supposed to do like three sets of 10. I'll try it out, see how it feels. And then I'm gonna flat bench. I'm not gonna do my skull crushers today. I'm probably gonna do some kind of push down and then just a rear delt fly. Let's get to it.
training day two. No, it's not. Today's training day three. I've got some deadlifts on the menu today. I really want to have time to do my mental health walk at the end. I have not had time to do my mental health walk for like a couple of weeks now. And I really just want to start this new book and get my mental health walk in. So deadlifts, some deadlift accessories, and hopefully a mental health walk. Here we go. So I finished Local Woman Missing. Local Woman Missing was very good. I would personally give it like an eight and a half out of 10. It kept you very focused on like one part of the story so you had no idea who the killer was. It was a really good like shock who the killer was. Um, honestly, not a lot of like loose end plot holes at the end, which was really nice. It kind of had like a as happy of an ending as you can in true crime. There were a lot of characters, which was like a little confusing. There was a lot of time jumping from like two separate times in the past to like the present. So that was a little confusing, but it was really, really good. Eight and a half out of 10. Highly recommend Local Woman Missing. Let's go get these deadlifts.
Um, I'm sorry, who was on the lap pull down before me? This thing is maxed out. I don't even think I could sit down with this. Let me try it. No, I can't. <laughs> Is this on? Yes. Hi. Okay, today's training day four, last training day of the week for me. Today is Sunday. I have touch and go bench, which I am excited but nervous about. I'm going up to 165 today. Crazy. And then some safety bar squats and some pump accessories. We got like the whole squad here today. All the power lifters are here, so it should be a good session. Here we go. So my elbow is feeling really good. I got Graston done from my chiropractor on Thursday and today is Sunday. It's feeling really good. It's on the up and up for sure. It's definitely not 100%, but I would say it's probably like 85%. So the best it's been, let's go bench.
I want to start adding lateral raises back into my program. I used to do them on this day with dumbbells, but to protect my elbow, I'm going to do it on the machine here. What this basically does is it creates a shorter lever so I can basically take the elbow out of it completely. So I'm gonna see if these feel okay and we'll get out of here. I am sticky and sweaty and honestly very overstimulated. I don't wanna be here anymore. All right, you guys, that is all for this week's week of workouts. Thank you yet again for hanging out with me. This is one of those training weeks that I just feel like fulfilled after. You know, there's like some training weeks where I'm just like, oh, thank goodness that is over. And this training week, I feel really good. It was really nice to hang out with all my friends on training day four, so that was fulfilling. I am looking forward to the next training week. Weights are getting a little bit scary. <laughs> this, is, this is the fun part. This is the part that I'm always like, I can't wait to get to it. And now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, shit so <laughs> weights are getting into that scary territory but that's where the magic happens that's where that mental strength is built anyway i will see y'all next week four week whatever i don't know bye <laughs>